Welcome to another video of medicine in 10 minutes or less. In these videos, we try to cover medical topics in 10 minutes or less to save you time and effort. These videos will be specifically useful for doctors who are studying for the USMLE and the MCCQE part one. In today's video, we are going to cover the most important points that you need to know about brain cactuses. So grab your coffee and let's go. Bronchiectasis is a chronic dilatation of the large bronchi. It is a permanent anatomical abnormality. The most common cause is cystic fibrosis, which accounts for half of the cases. Other causes are infections like TB, pneumonia, and abscesses, panhypogammaglobulinemia, and immune deficiency, foreign body, and tumors, allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis, and collagen vascular diseases such as rheumatoid arthritis. Use phased score to calculate the severity of the bronchiectasis, which includes the forced expiratory volume in one second, age, colonization with pseudomonas, extended involvement on chest CT, and dyspnea. A patient with bronchiectasis will present to you with recurrent episodes of very high volume, purulent sputum production, which will suggest the diagnosis to you. Hemoptysis might also occur, and dyspnea and wheezing are present in 75% of the patients. Other findings are weight loss, anemia of chronic disease, crackles on lung exam, clubbing is uncommon, and dyskinetic cilia syndrome. Now let's talk about the diagnostic tests. The best initial test is to have an x-ray, a chest x-ray which will show dilated thickened bronchi, like you see in the illustrations below, sometimes with tram tracks, which is the thickening of the bronchi. The most accurate test is to have a high resolution CT scan of the chest. Sputum culture is the only way to determine the specific bacterial etiology. Here you can see the findings that we might find in a chest x-ray of the bronchiectasis patient. You can see the difference between the normal side of the lung and the side of the lung with coarsened markings. And here is the bronchiectasis with the CT scan. As you can see, the CT will show enlargement of the small airways with thickened bronchial walls. In advanced bronchiectasis, you will see many enlarged airways with thickened walls, and also some of them will be filled with mucus. And finally, the treatment. The chest physiotherapy with cupping and clapping and postural drainage are essential for dislodging the plugged up bronchi. We also need to treat each episode of infection as it arises. We will use the same antibiotics that we mentioned in the exacerbation of COPD. The only difference here is that inhaled antibiotics seem to have some efficacy. A specific microbiologic diagnosis is preferred to guide the treatment with antibiotics. In bronchiectasis patients, we need to rotate antibiotics one weekly each month. Surgical resection of focal lesions may be indicated. Dornase is also used in bronchiectasis patients which are caused by cystic fibrosis. The Dornase will help reduce the viscosity and help the patient's get rid of the sputum. Treatments that are not clearly effective are beta agonists and pulmonary rehabilitation. So this is the end of our video today. I hope you found it useful. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to see more of this content. And while you're at it, share it with your friends.